Hey guys, uh, today we're going to show you guys how to install Windows 7 on Boot Camp. And first thing you guys need to do is um, you need to go into Boot Camp. You need to type in Boot Camp on the search in the top right corner on your Mac. And then have a Windows 7 disk, preferably a 64 bit, depending on how much RAM you have. Um, and you, when you, you, you'll go through it. You'll partition your drive to where what you want to be Windows Seven, and then you're gonna be asked to put in your disk. You press continue, like, and it'll, it'll you press partition. It'll partition it. It'll start you up, and then it'll load the Windows Seven. After it loads Windows Seven, um, you're gonna have to accept the license terms of agreements, and then you go next, and then see the partition it made. For boot camp, I made a 200 gigabyte partition, but it comes out to 186.5 because um, that's how much, like when you format into NTFS, that's what it needs. You go to drive options, and then you have to format it, and then you press OK, and then you give it a second. Um, just, uh, it finished, and now I'll let you continue. Um, you want to go out next. And this process takes a while. Um, uh, just let it go through, and once this is done, I'll come back to you guys. Um, expanding the Windows files takes longest, so it's alright if you guys are kind of there, you're not stuck, it's just... Just it takes a while. I'll come back when you get when this is done. Okay, guys. Um, after it finishes, it's gonna restart your computer, and just leave it to restart. Um, you can only use Boot Camp on Intel-based Macs. That's what I think. I think I'm right. And. Um, to run Windows 7, you honestly, you want at least 2 gigs of RAM on your Mac, so if you have some kind of like, um, any Mac with less than 2 gigs of RAM, you don't really, like, preferably it's 4 gigs, but, yeah. Now it's a starting Windows, and, yep. Let it start. It says updating registry. That's my cable clutter. And it's still completing installation. Um, I'll get back to you guys when this is done. Alright guys, now, if you just left it alone, just leave it alone, it will restart once or twice. Um, just leave it alone, and eventually, um, it's gonna restart, and this is gonna show up. And just leave it. it will... Um, yeah, I'm gonna put in my stuff click next and I'm gonna put in um, here we go. 
I don't want to record that. You don't have to put a password, but if you choose to, you can. I messed up. And I'm typing with one hand. And... I'm gonna not show that. Alright, then you click next and pick the one you choose. Um, I am going to choose the middle one. Um, I think this is my 5 gig. Alright, yeah. Um, I'm typing my security key. Um, give me a second, guys. Um, I think it's doing it. I don't. I don't know. Should be. Um, and you can always do this from the OS, but I'm just choosing to do it from the Windows. Um, yeah. I'll tell you guys when that finishes. Still not done. I, I don't know what it's doing. Connection attempt failed. What's. Why is that? Hmm. I think I'm putting in the wrong password. So. I shall come back to you guys. Um, no, never mind. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stay. I don't know. It's, it's doing bad things. Mm. Connection temp failed. I'll come back to you guys. All right, guys. So I got through that. Um. I got the right password in. What I was putting in wasn't the right password, that's why. Um, now, I, it was, it's preparing your desktop, not mine. And you have to wait. And this is being recorded with an iPhone 4S, if you guys were wondering. And there you go. Um, now I put my drivers and stuff because when you start the boot camp, it's going to ask you if you want to put like download the drivers to run everything. And I put it on this flash drive. And I'm going to plug the flash drive in now. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that too. So once I have my flash drive in. Um, okay. I'm going to go to computer. Um, no, never mind, it just opened. Windows support and boot camp um, setup. Right there where it says setup. Click yes. And you go through the installer. It shouldn't be too hard. Welcome to boot camp installer. Next, accept, next, next, and you have to go through this. Um, you can close this now and just wait for this to do its stuff. It may take several minutes according to what it said there. So I'm going to come back to you guys when this finishes. Um, wait, never mind. I think it might finish pretty fast.
Um, yeah, it looks like it's going to finish pretty fast. So we'll leave this to do its stuff. Um, Alright, then now on second thought, it's down in installing the NVIDIA drivers. Alright, when it finishes installing all the drivers, I'll come back to you guys. Alright guys, um, it finished um, installing the drivers and now we're in the Windows 7 environment. I uh, put some drivers in, I got the GPU driver, um, I'm installing some games, installing Windows Movie Maker. Um, to get to put in your key so you don't get the Windows genuine stuff, you have to go to computer and then system properties and scroll all the way down. And if you want the Windows arrow, make sure to give your assist, like computer a score. Here, I'll show you guys. Um, to give your, I'm not going to show you guys the key though. So to give you the compute your computer a score, you have to click retrieve system rating. That's the only way you guys will get the see through like arrow because your computer has a score high enough. Um, and this computer is overclocked to 2.9 gigahertz for the CPU Z. And if you guys have any questions of how to overclock, um, you have to have an NVIDIA GPU. Like, like if you have an Intel processor, you have to have an NVIDIA GPU. Like, that's how I did it. Because you download something called that's um, from NVIDIA called like um, System Tool with like ESA or something. And I'll show you guys right now my overclock. Stock comes at 2.56. It's like 2.9 with no voltage increase, so that's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the increased clock, and that will be the end of the video. And it's taking a while to load. I think this is because the first time I opened it, so that it probably explains it. And I'm doing some CPU intensive tasks. <coughs> All right, yeah, there you go, 2.9. I heard the bus speed and kept the multiplier the same and your memory also gets increased when you hire the bus because that's what happens alright thanks guys for watching